A new low cost airline launched in Jacksonville today with hopes of bringing tourism to new heights, but the startup has had a bumpy ride. Mm -hmm. This is Action News Jax at 6. I'm Emily Turner in for Tanika Hughes. I'm John Bachman. Breeze Airways canceled a slew of flights weeks after starting uh, in several other cities over the past year. Action News Jax investigates why the city is now looking to give them hundreds of thousands of dollars. Action News Jax, Robert Grant joins us live at the airport. And Robert, the airline already canceled flights to Jacksonville before even taking off here. Yeah, John, that's right. Direct flights from Providence, Rhode Island to JIA here were announced in March. Then just a few weeks later, all of its June flights were canceled. It raises questions about reliability. And today I asked the airline why. Breeze Airways inaugural Jacksonville flight touched down with applause. We're changing it for this day to say, Jax, it's breezier here. So congratulations and welcome. Offering low cost, direct flights to soon eight destinations. Elaine Ramsey has a son in Jacksonville. I've waited 10 years for a direct flight, so I'm so excited. <laughs> but customers say it hasn't always been a breeze. Multiple media reports show the airline scaled back flights weeks after launching in cities like Charleston, Huntsville, New Orleans, and most recently, direct flights from Providence to Jacksonville. They were announced in March, then all flights in June were canceled. The airline says a full refund was offered. In a statement on Twitter, Breeze said, quote, due to necessary government certification for our new planes, we've experienced some schedule changes in June. A bill to give the airline one million in city funds funds to help with marketing is now working its way through council. Why is that a million dollars necessary to get you off the ground, I guess? So everybody needs support and uh, when you start a new uh, route, you have to develop the air service and uh, it's a whole of community approach and that's the key. Everyone wins if, if, uh, if we can grow the market to Jacksonville. By giving them more flight choices, direct flight choices, that makes it a lot more um, attractive for them to come from, for, in this case, from Richmond to Jacksonville. And that bill was introduced to City Council by Mayor Lenny Curry. I reached out to his office for a little bit of clarification. In a statement, they told me that the city will reimburse Breeze Airways only for marketing of direct routes in and out of Jacksonville. That agreement will last two years, and all of the money comes from debt savings. With local coverage you can count on just outside JIA, I'm Robert Grant, Action News Jax. If you have a story you